Hey guys! How y'all doing today? This is gonna be a quick little stream. Quick, quick little stream. I've got a couple, uh, I don't know, like an hour and a half, two hours to kill. So I wanted to do some Dynamax adventures with you guys. Real quick like. Real quick like. <laughs> Let's go. If this thing wants to connect to the internet. There we go. Thank you. Okay, what was I hunting? Yes. Um, what were we hunting? Oh, I was doing Ho-Oh. Mm-hmm. Now, how can I do this so that you guys can join in? Oh, if I hit invite others, it just goes, it just like puts it on the internet. Unless I, do I disconnect from the internet? That doesn't make any sense. Is it just that like you guys can jump in when you see me start it and hopefully you get in? Is that how that's going to work? Because I'm not a hundo P on how it works. Like, if I want you guys specifically to be able to join me, is that possible? Yeah, it's been a while since I've played Dynamax Adventures. Dynamax Adventures with you. Oh, before hitting invite others, you must press plus and choose to set a link code. That's how it works. I guess first things first, is anyone, uh, does anyone want to jump in with me? Um, this is the first run, so maybe I should just go with some online randos and then once more people show up, I can set a link code. Oh, you're ready, Crystal? All right. Screw it then. You and I can do it. Um, eight digit link code. Let's, uh, go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, Zyron. Hop on in. So we'll go eight, 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 nine, 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 nine. That's going to be the link code. Hop on in. Let's, let's Dynamax hunt this ho-o real quick. Like, as long as you remember to stock up on gags, I, I, <laughs> I swear, I'm going to make some embarrassing mistake and you guys will have like good reason to make fun of me forever. I thought this DLC was really worth it. It's, um, I mean, Dynamax Adventures, you've got a really good shot at shiny legendaries. And I mean, I guess that's mostly for someone like me who likes shiny hunting. <laughs> oh, do I have to also then? Okay, now the room's up. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, it's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute since I did Dynamax Adventures. There you go. There you go. I want that shiny ho -o. How do we join? So you're going to want to go to Dynamax Adventures um, in the Crown Tundra. You're going to want to say that you want to go out. And then you want to give them the link code that's in the upper right. Morty is cool. Jello's just a hater. He just can't stand to see another Blonde King winning, honestly. Monolay, first time chatter. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, this will be fun. It's going to be short, unfortunately. I've only got about like 
an hour and a half to kill. Um, but, you know, it's better than just sitting around for an hour and a half. Awesome, Zyron. Is anyone else going to jump in or should I just start? I mean, three of us in one bot is still pretty good. You guys are going to be better than the randos that I've done Dynamax Adventures with. Dynamax Adventures can be so frustrating because sometimes people who like don't know type matchups just, just pick the worst, the worst Pokemon. Don't put that evil on me. Watch me fail hard. You guys, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. If we fail, we fail together. Here, we'll go for it. Yeah, this way we can actually like talk to each other and work together. Okay, so what do we got? Um, This guy's got decent moves, but I can't imagine a pink is going to be very helpful. I'll go for Marowak for the resistance. Oh, that doesn't, that's not very helpful. If we fail, it's streamer's fault. What the hell? Ooh, Bolton. As clear as day, I could hear Jello saying, it's almost as if children are playing. Yeah, that's the kind of smart ass shit he would say. <laughs> All right. So we really want to get like water or electric. Um, oh God. Oh God, I, oh, uh, drift, I guess. That's annoying. I wish it wouldn't do that. All right. I already have a shiny in this guy, so I'm not really, I don't really want to catch him, but he's going to be more helpful than Marowak if he's got rock moves. Uh, I am not going to Dynamax because I have nothing for this guy. I've heard how Jello plays Toontown. He doesn't care about them kids if they aren't optimal. Yeah, no, 100%. He has, he has no room to talk if I complain about randos and Dynamax adventures. But it's Pokemon, so he's got to be a hater. That's our entire friendship. <laughs> yeah, Dynamax your Pinkurchin. I feel like that's our strongest move. Oh, this is great. I can play Dynamax Adventures with someone who understands what it means when I pass on Dynamax. <laughs> when you play with randos, if you pass on Dynamax, they will not understand why you did it. And they'll be like, huh? And then they don't Dynamax their guy? Sucks. Or they Dynamax their guy even if their guy is like not at all good. It's like, great, thanks so much. Yeah, I uh, I don't have anything really for this guy, so I'm just going for stab on that shadow bone. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, Mr. Mime's not bad. Not bad support. At least it's not freaking Lunatone. Oh my god. Alucard, welcome back. How you doing? Um, I'll catch it. I'll take it if the lady doesn't take it. Ah. 
had someone Dynamax a Tauros in a Giratina raid and he couldn't even touch it. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. That's what's bad about playing this with randos. Because it, it, this has to have a rock move, right? Okay, yeah. I'll take it. Feeling sick. Oh, that sucks, a la carte. Oh, stop. Let's see. What is it? Dragonair. I think Dragonair has an electric move, right? Really wish I didn't have this controller drift. I don't know what the hell that is. Does Dragonair have a, have an electric move? This is this seems to be what I remember about the rental Pokemon, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it's not like it's not like Skun Tank was going to be very useful because I'm pretty sure Skun Tank's got like flamethrower and that's it. Um, I'll set up screens just to burn a move. I don't want to waste all my rock slides. Oh, well, thank you. That's my B. I'll come back in with rock slide. Oof, Pinkurchin. Pinkurchin's got, like, the exact right um, moves and the exact wrong stats. Does the Mr. Mime have a fairy move? I bet you anything it doesn't. <laughs> that would be just our luck. Okay, I'll go in Rock Slide. He also went for it. There goes Pinkurchin. That's okay, though. Oof, that blows. That blows so bad. Should I just set up fire spin? Like, it's not going to be very effective, but I, I feel like I might just to have. I did not think that we wouldn't have an answer to Dragonair. Okay, it's starting to go in for attacking moves. That's better. Yeah, I'm going to try and get that chip damage. And then I think we just need to, we need to go full offensive on it. There'll definitely be room next round, Slim. Um, there's only three of us in on this one. Yeah, so we've got Chip, and if we all just go offensive, I think we might get it in like two turns, maybe? Hopefully before another guy goes down. Thanks for stopping in, Lexier. See you later. Yeah, all right. This is okay. This isn't too bad. See, it's got max lightning. This is why I was thinking like maybe it would be good for um for the holo. Who do you think should take it? On the one hand, I'd like if this if this lady swapped out the Mr. Mime, but I don't trust the NPC. Anything in particular you're looking for here? We are shiny hunting Ho-Oh. 
Or I'm at least shiny hunting ho -oh. <laughs> He's good support, though. It wouldn't be terrible if, if um, she held on to it. I feel like maybe you want to you wanna switch up Pinkurchin. As much as, like, it's got good moves, its stats are just going to hurt us. Oh, yeah, and that chip damage. Let's go, gamers. Okay, I'm not taking on it. Yeah, that uh, Pinkurchin having thunder also hurts because of that accuracy. Oh, it is thunder. Still, Dragonair's got slightly better stats. Yeah, that, that sucks. Thunder is not good, gamers. Okay, what are our options here? We got some healing. That's good. Ground or normal? What normal type is that? Oh, it's Quagsire. The ground type is Quagsire. Let's go Quag. Oh, it's Lopany. That wouldn't have been helpful either. And then we get Item Lady, I think is, is the next stop, which is good. We want held items. Quag. Would Quag be helpful over Carcoal? I feel like probably. <laughs> Here, I'm going to get that chip on again. Because, again, I don't want to waste all my rock slides. Might have rock moves. I don't know if... I wouldn't want him for rock moves. I, I would hope that he'd have a good water move. Yeah, it, it does all depend on the moveset. I have no idea what Quag's higher rental has. Yeah, Mr. Mime support, not terrible. Oof. Uh, yeah, I expected that to happen. I can Dynamax. Great. Not like I was going to Dynamax a Carcoal against a Quagsire. You'll Dyna? Okay, cool. She's got those screens, dude. She has got those screens. Okay, nice. I'm making a run on these giant Pokemon battles. What on earth is going on here? So this is Dynamax Adventures. Um, basically, you have to fight three Dynamax Pokemon, which are these giant Pokemon. Um, and Dynamax Pokemon have these like inherently stronger moves that makes it uh, difficult to defeat them. And we have, uh, we have to try and get past three battles with these in order to face off against a legendary at the end of the cavern. Now, the thing about this is if we faint four times, we're done immediately. 
Um, so that can happen in the middle of the fight with the legendary or even before the fight with the legendary. So we're trying to get through here with as few um, feints as possible. Unfortunately, I've got a car hole against this Quagsire, which kind of sucks. Um, but we're trying to create a team that's going to be good against the legendary at the end. So, for example, uh, we're going for ho -Oh. So my car hole is actually a good choice for the final match. Um, but it's not a good matchup against the other Pokemon that we would, you know, want to pick up along the way. Um, which kind of blows. But luckily, I haven't gone down again. So the hope is that if we hit it hard enough, we'll be able to take down this Quagsire and then someone could take it with us. And then we're going for a shot at the Legendary. Oh, there's definitely a way to do TTRPG Pokemon. I, I ran a game like that way, way back in the day. All right, who should take Quag, do you think? I'll throw a Pokeball at it just to have the option. Um, I guess it depends on the moveset. I, it's got, you know, obviously Max Geyser, but um, <clears throat> I don't know what it actually is. Scald. Scald is nice. Jacob, do you want this? Um, yeah, instead of uh, Thunder? Because, like, Rock Slide has better odds. Oh, you're not going to take it? Okay. No, you're good? Okay. I can take it. Or do you want to take it over Boltoned? Here, you take it over Boltoned. There you go. And uh, yeah, keep this NPC with Mr. Mime. Um, let's see. Boost special moves. H you no. Know, boost power physical moves. Weakness policy. Uh uh I, I'm assuming I want this. Focus Ash on Quag. Nice. I'm so bad at remembering which moves are physical and which ones are special. Um, but I can't imagine Rock Slide is special. All right. We got two. We got two lives, which is okay. Decent team, though. Yeah, you could Dynamax Scald. I feel like you have you have the most um, HP, and there's not a lot that it can do to hit you. Yeah, the only unfortunate thing about Dynamax Adventures is how long they take. I feel like we'll only be able to get like three or four rounds in today. Um, but I would love to do more streams like this, just hanging out and doing these with you guys. Cause I love Dynamax Adventures, honestly. Oof, that's not good. I kind of forgot that it had that. <laughs> that's okay. I think we can get through this pretty quick. Oh, that is not as much as I was hoping. I'm assuming we just hit the uh, the shield. No? Did they not have the shield in these? I have shiny Giratina already. So we're not going to do Giratina raids. Um, Raikou? Absolutely. Oh, there goes me. That's not good.
All right, hope for the best. Stat boost? Nope, nothing. Okay, yellow. It can two shot me, um, which is not great. Should I get chip on it? I feel like it can't be, it can't be worth it, right? Putting Toxic on. Okay. I'm just going to go Rock Slide. I feel like it's way more worth it. Mr. Mime's going offensive. <laughs> Why is it timing your moves? Because uh, we're playing online. They don't want you to just sit there forever while other people are waiting on you. Oh my god, that missed? Okay, poisoned, good. Oh, there goes the Mr. Mime, that's it. Yeah, we got, we got dealt a bad hand there. Let's go again. All right, link code is up. Having a team of four this time will be nice. Really quick while you guys get in, I'm gonna grab water. Where is our number four? Having connection problems. Okay. No problem. You got two minutes. One's got two shinies at once in this and neither were the legendary I was hunting. Don't you hate it? You can only take one. Sucks. Big sucko. Wasn't connected to the internet. That'll do it to you. I've done that so many times.
Animon story? What is that? If it's a TTRPG, I don't really play them. There we go. Very nice. Let's go, team. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Nothing really to write home about in this first group. I'll take Fracture. Ugh. Not a good start. Yeah, not great gamers. Oh, Hitmonchan. That's something. Let's see what we got in the... Okay, electric type. What is that? A Molga. Water left and water right at the end. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can go a Molga. It's something. I don't think Blaziken has anything useful as much as the resistance would be good. Yeah, yeah, that him on Jan's gonna be good. You won't have to swap that out. The rest of us have to change what we have, <laughs> especially that pile of swine. Um, I don't know. Fay Heaven, thank you for the bits. I'm making my way through the One Piece dub and instantly recognize you and in Impel Down. Your performance is so funny. I love it. Thank you so much. Can you believe that was one of my first anime roles ever? I was like fresh out of college. And I was so nervous. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. They were like, oh, she, she moans in the middle of all of her sentences. And I was like, I don't know what to do about this. <laughs> Actually, I can tell a funny story about that. Um, like I said, I, I was I was fresh out of college. Um, at that point, I had only done a couple shows. Um, I was in Tokyo ESP as background roles. And I had done Libra in Fairy Tale. Um and like a bunch of uh, just like Walla and Chatter and a couple other shows. And then I had like a three hour session for One Piece on my calendar. And I was like, ooh, I assume this is like One Piece background chatter because like most of them are like two to three hours. Um, and then I looked at the schedule and it was just me. And I was so confused. I was like, what? Why is it just me? What could that possibly? What? 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 And I get in there and it's Joel McDonald who's great director but at the time I didn't know him and he was like all right I got a lot of characters to cast um in this uh in this uh oh I actually might want this just as a Pokemon um what color yeah I'm gonna go Ultra Ball um he was like, I got a lot of characters to cast, so here's what's going to happen. You're going to audition right now for all the female characters, and whichever one I like, we're going to record for the, the rest of the three hours. And so I start freaking out, obviously. Um, and then... The first one was Mistress Sadie. And I did it, and he was like, yeah, all right. We're recording that. So I didn't even touch the other characters. Uh, let's see. Grass not going to be useful. Gloom is not going to be useful either. So we might as well go Marowak and get the items. But yeah, that's how I booked One Piece. 
He just needed women. Oh, we'll go focus band. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all need women? <laughs> Yeah, you were the only one that got hit by that Amolga. I don't know why it hated you. Am I going to even be able to do anything against this Marowak? I might be kind of useless, but you know. Oh, I've got aerobatics. That's okay. Of course, I'm holding an item, but you know. <laughs> Did I say aerobatics? Acrobatics. Oof, that blows. Well, there goes one. <laughs> Good job, Vixen. Ruined everything. Excuse me. You wouldn't want me to not have the item once we get to the ho -Oh. If only Amolga didn't have an item. Yeah, I could have O-Code it, honestly. If, if only I wasn't holding an item, I definitely would have O-Code. <laughs> yeah, if you Dynamax and then Ice Punch, as long as, you're, as long as you don't get full parried, which would suck. <laughs> There we go. Very nice. Very nice. What item is it anyway? I think I have um a focus sash, focus band. We got it. It's fine. Not that not that I'm helping much, but we got this. Hopefully how creamy doesn't get O code again. <laughs> Yeah, decorate is nice. Wouldn't be a bad idea to hold on to. Do I have shiny Marowak? Hold on. I don't. Hold on, I'm catching this just to have. Um, nest. <laughs> oh, does it have bad moves? Oh, yeah. No, that's no. I just want it in case it's shiny. Water. Ooh, and potential move replacement. Or item replacement. You know what I meant. It's basculine, which I don't know if that's any better than... Um, 
Ooh, shell bell. Let's go, gamers. What? <laughs> Weakness policy for Pilus wine. I don't know if it's good to bring Pilus wine to the end. I mean, he is ground ice, right? Ho oh, oh does have that rock move. Yeah. Yeah, but Pilo having a rock move won't matter if he's getting O-code by Ho's rock move. Although, <laughs> it's gonna be bad for me too, because I'm flying. One of us should go fish. It's just w who. I would say over Pilo, right? Or should I take it over a Mulga? Oh, you've got a focus sash. Seems like everyone thinks we should trade out Pilo. I'm going to take the Basculin anyway, just to have. If my Amolga gets triple O code, then uh, Zyron has the right to bully all of us. Does it say test stream? Oops, that's not what I meant for it to say. Has it said test stream this entire time? I thought I changed it. <laughs> no, it was supposed to say Dynamax Adventures with chat. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm still getting used to OBS. Oh, oops. <laughs> Be nice to me. I'm still learning OBS. <laughs> Cause the way the way Streamlabs worked was before I went live, it would pop up a little thing and be like, change your stream information. I change the information and then I go live. The way OBS works is I can change the stream in information at any time, even when I'm offline. Um but I have to hit done and like save before it'll change. Yeah, nobody told me it, it said test again. I thought I thought I had done it right. <laughs> I can't notice because on my end it looked like I had done it right. Curious, why switch to OBS? Because OBS has um, compatibility with trigger fire, 
which allows you guys to use channel points to make stuff happen on screen. Um, and slobs does not have that at all. There are no programs that link up with slobs, it seems, unless they're like really complicated. And the whole point of slobs is that it's supposed to be easier than OBS. So um, it was bad that there were no like trigger fire equivalents that worked with Streamlabs um, that were easy. So uh, yeah, we switched. Also, Streamlabs had been giving me an issue lately where I would go to open it and it would be like, can't open. And I would have to uninstall and reinstall it. It's okay, we got this. Yeah, it wasn't going to give you the satisfaction. There goes that bird. All right. First attempt of the stream. Let's see what we get. Do these big Pokemon have a higher shiny rate? Only in this particular game mode. So there are other ways to do Dynamax battles with big Pokemon that do not have raised shiny rates. This specifically, Dynamax Adventures, does. Let's see what we got. Regular Emolga, regular Marowak, regular Basculin, regular ho -Oh. I'm just going to double check. Because uh, Emolga, I feel like I would recognize... Basculin is a hard one. Yeah, nothing here. Uh, actually, I'll take one of these for breeding. I'll take the Emolga. All right, I got time for, I want to say at least one more run, if not two. If we're quick to, yeah, we'll see. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I'm wasting time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Okay. Link code is up. Well, that would explain why no one was hop no one knew was hopping in stream. Uh, if my stream just said testing, stretch. <laughs> Let's go, team. I can rock. I thought it was on purpose. No, it wasn't. <laughs> well, maybe next time I'll remember to update the stream title and we'll actually get some new Pokemon fans in here <laughs> to play with us. Um, but you know, this time I'm I'm pretty happy that it's uh just us and some just us regulars doing a couple rounds. Yeah, please tell me. Please tell me if the stream title looks wrong. I'm an idiot. Oh, no. What happened? Hi. <laughs> Hi. What'd you do? Um, I had my stream title say uh, 
Charge up? Should we go charge a bug? That seems like not good. Oh, we can go the other direction. There's another one over there. I'm gonna go left. Um, I I had the stream title as last night's stream title, which was just like just testing OBS in big letters. Oh. <laughs> So, uh, of course, nobody was c coming in except the regulars. Oh, no. I changed it. Now now it says what it's supposed to be, but I can only stream for, like, another 45 minutes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Got big, big fancy plans today? No, just a doctor's appointment. Mm. Here, I'm going to howl. Um, someone else can Dynamax. How are you doing, Will? I'm doing all right. I just got home from work. I got myself a cheeseburger and fries. Lovely. I'm just chilling. I I noticed um this is uh, some sword and shield, yeah? Yeah. And it looked like, am I crazy? Is it like a roguelite? Like you have a path and stuff? I mean, it's not a roguelite, but yeah. it It's like, this is Dynamax Adventures. So basically, at the end of this cave is a legendary Pokemon um, with a boosted shiny odd. Mm. And all of these other Pokemon also have boosted shiny odds. Um, so as we go through, we have to assemble a good team for taking on the specific legendary that's at the end. So we know it's Ho-Oh. So we can plan specifically for Ho-Oh. Um, if I was playing this online with randos, I would only get a hint as to what type the legendary would be. Okay. But it's, yeah, it's kind of like a raid boss. So we've got we've got to live through three rounds of Dynamax battles with um, normal Pokemon, and then we've got to uh, defeat the Ho-Oh at the end. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. It's fun. It's really fun. And um, people from chat are playing with me. Oh, neat. Yeah. This must have been like some DLC or something, yeah? Yeah, this was in the DLC. Okay. That's weird. I don't remember them talking about this. That's a neat sales pitch. I don't know why they didn't talk about it more. Because it's, uh, it's Nintendo and Pokemon Company and they're bad at doing that. Fair enough. Oh, yes, we also have four lives collectively. So once any of our Pokemon faint four times, we're done. And if any of these matches take more than 10 turns, we're done. Okay. And so basically, you kind of got to plan what Pokemon would be good, specifically for the Pokemon at the end, but also have enough versatility that you're not, like, completely stuck if you happen to run into a type that would be very disadvantageous. Exactly. That's neat. I like that. Because obviously you're going for, you're picking Pokemon to take on that are going to be good against the legendary at the end. But if your team is also built for that legendary, you're going to be bad against the Pokemon that are resisting the legendary. So um, as you go further and further, you get into like this harder and harder situation. We got yeah, because it's, yeah, it's like if you're going for Ho-Oh, it's like, oh, we should bring like a bunch of like water and things like that. But the mm -hmm. moment you run into an electric Gigantamax Pokemon, you're kind of fucked. Exactly. So, okay. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, this mode is uber fun with friends, nightmarish with randos. That is correct. That sounds right. Yeah. But isn't that any online game? That's true. That is true. All right, um, I'm not going to take this gun tank, but there we go. Yeah, I've hunted a couple shinies in this mode. So I've got shiny Mewtwo, Giratina, and Lunala from this mode. Mm. What are the uh, kind of drop odds? Um, I think it's like... It's like ridiculously high. It's like one in 16 or something like that. Wow, that is remarkably good. That is bizarrely generous. 
I feel like that might be too high, but yeah, it's like it's like oh no, it's it's one in one hundred, I think. Um, That's still pretty good. Yeah, and then you know, obviously, if you catch all four Pokemon, um, it's gonna be like one twenty-five, something like that, for any oh. of them to potentially be shiny. So catching Pokemon actually also increase the oh no, it doesn't increase. It's just that you've got four Pokemon. Mm. You can only take one. Fair enough. Yeah, one in three hundred without charm, one in one hundred with. Yeah, so that's that's correct. Will is mixed pretty high. Thank you. My apologies. That's okay. I'm still uh, screwing around with um, OBS. Here, try talking. Hello, hello, hello. It's a little better. Maybe just a little bit yeah. less. We'll try that. Hey, howdy, hey. It's Nubby. Hey, Nubby. How you doing? I'm doing okay. How, how are you guys? Oh, good. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I, I, I just got off of work. Hell it yeah. A rough one. Oh, no. <laughs> also, are we supposed happened? to not get game audio? I was playing Pokemon Lo-Fi in the background, but I can switch it. <laughs> Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, there we go. That, that's what I was wondering. I, was, I came in, I was like, my, my volume must be really low. So I cranked everything up. And it, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> I had to check out chat. Chat, how you doing? Is that loud? <laughs> uh, I was just watching Evan Ward. Good job, Will. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, where where are you now. at in uh, Evan Ward? Me or this chatter? You and chat. Okay. I mean, I I <laughs> um, took a break just before. Uh, what do you call it? The fucking uh, the, the the house. Ah, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. fair. Yeah. yeah, you gotta you gotta like I just have it, brace yeah, I just, for that. Yeah, I'm like, I like you know I'll watch it at some point, but I've just been like, okay, uh, that's like gonna be like a day that I'm gonna dedicate <laughs> to getting through house. Yeah, no, no rush on that. Also, oh. Episode four, you say? Okay. Oh, you're like way back wow. in the day. I will. I'll tell you right now. I appreciate those kind words. It does get a lot better. <laughs> you, you, like context for that. Um, Evan Ward, I is is like take, my first someone time. Someone take GMing. the Rotom. Oh. Sorry. Oh no, you're good. No one took the Rotom. Oh, Rotom. All alone. There he goes. Well, I thought someone else wanted. No. <laughs> there goes Rotom. Off to start his business. Nothing but his bootstraps. He's going places. A little worker, that guy. We want to get rid of that vanillish. You're going to want to take this Kangaskhan. Otherwise, that oh. vanilla is just going to get destroyed by Sacred Fire. Oh, is it that you, when you catch these Pokemon on the way, you can switch them out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that immediately makes this even more interesting. Okay, that's cool. Is, is this Pokemon the roguelike? That's what I thought. It is not. It's a, it's a little <laughs> different, but it's, it's definitely got, like, kind of the flavor of it. <laughs> it's like a bunch of raid bosses in a row, essentially, and the last one's a legendary. Gotcha. I see. Yeah, this is a this is not a strong team, but that's not necessarily our fault. Uh, we did not get good options off the jump. Mm -hmm. But as long as we can replace that vanillish, we'll be good. Oh, yeah, sorry. You guys were you guys were talking, but I was just oh, like, ah, the road time. <laughs> This is your stream, I, like, and you're like doing tactics and stuff. I have nothing important to contribute. <laughs> it's nice having you here, though. I haven't heard from you in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been busy. Uh, just, just a lot of people coming in and out of the house. Yeah, you've got a lot of family visiting. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 
It's like literally every week we get, hey, we got another cousin. Come on in. How's it? How's it going? Oh, it's good to see you. It's like... Dude, I cannot tell you how happy I am to have like cut out family besides immediate, dude. Oh, my God. Every holiday is so much easier. I don't have to worry about people visiting all the time. It's literally just, oh, is it Christmas? I'll go see the parents and the sister. That was a good time. I go home. There's no drama. There's no conflict. It's amazing. Yeah. It'll be... I, so next week is, I think, the last one, though. So after that, I can get back to doing the other stuff that I've been wanting to do. Yeah. Just, just been sitting here like, oh, boy. Sure would love to run the next episode of DSR. Oh, Nubby. <laughs> This is this is a down payment. I don't know for what, but it's a down payment. You you're gonna you're gonna be able to do something after this. Uh-huh. Hey Vixen, are you a big Senta Scorch fan? Actually, Senta Scorch was on my league team for Sword Shield. <coughs> oh, that's bacon, right? Yeah, the bacon. I loved them. Yeah. I had him on my team. He's he's just a cute little dude. I when I was playing Sword and Shield, I do remember the moment I because I I never want to see the next batch of Pokemon until mm-hmm, I'm playing mm-hmm. it, and I remember I saw his little form come out. I was like, is that Bacon with a mustache? Oh, he's in. He's in. <laughs> <laughs> when you get him at a great time, yeah. Uh, like it needed a fire type. And I, I, I like to run always for my first playthrough of any Pokemon game, all new Mons. Yes. That makes sense. Nice. There you go. Oh. I, I okay, I'm going to catch the Kanga, but I'm not taking it. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> they're strategizing. Um, I just remember I started that game with um, uh, the rabbit, little fire type. And I was like, I can't have two fire types on my team. Goodbye, rabbit. I'm keeping bacon. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the very few times I've ever boxed my starter. I was like, nope, this little dude's so good. He's I had so both. Cute. I had both. I just, I ran mostly like bug moves on the Senna Scourge. Oh, that makes sense. All right. Interesting team. We're going to do great. We get an item. Let's see. I'm going to go focus sash and then try and Dynamax. Ooh, you guys got leftovers. Nice. This is going to be great. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I do. I love the music in this, uh, this mode. It's so epic. Dun, 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 dun. This is like not on topic at all. I've been itching to play Tricky Towers again. Oh, that game's fun. Yeah, it's been long enough. I think I suck <laughs> again, which is fine. I'm going to hit you guys with a howl this round, and then after I Dynamax, I'm going to bury it in rocks. Hell yeah. Let's go. Good hustle, team. I've just been, like, thinking about it. Like, it would be good to get back to that. Be fun. Just, just thinking about stuff. Just thinking about stuff. Just thinking about girls. <laughs> do girls? We all. Do girls? <laughs> Tell me, do girls like Roblox? <laughs> Not Roblox. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, now people are going to think I'm a fucking casual. <laughs> <laughs> I know what the women like. It's Cubics. Robots for everyone. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> Young man, stand first time chatter. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Hey. Oh, fucking. Uh, here's something I can talk about. Um, Ooh. I don't know how curse friendly the stream is, so if I just go for it. There, I apologize. <laughs> but, um, Bro, I dropped like two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I at work today, 
I was getting bullied so bad. I uh, <laughs> what? Nice. <laughs> oh. My coworkers say that I talk like an anchor man, like like a news person. You do. <laughs> <laughs> give, give us give us a sentence. Tell, okay, tell us something. Right, I'll, right. I'll be a judge of that. I, have you been to Starbucks before? Try like order order a drink from me. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so you, you you walk in. Um, yeah. All right. And I, I hey, welcome in. How you doing? Oh hi. Uh, I'd like a a venti. Uh, yeah, you can go to large. Uh, I'll get the idea. Uh, what would you like? <sighs> I've never ordered coffee in my life. <laughs> hey, that's okay. We got all kinds of coffee here. We've got blonde roast, dark roast. We've got uh, medium roast, which is our pipe. okay. Uh, now I can hear it. You're doing the weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can hear it now. Everything up to that point, no. But we got to there, and I, I also... Now, hold on. To be fair, I think there was also the area you're in right now. You are in a stream, you're with right, friends, right. and now you're self-conscious about it, so you're putting on a little bit of a performance. Oh so my I God. am optimistic it's not to that level in, in well, the actual okay. situation. Zyron, you're I gotta, think, I gotta imagine a scenario, right? Okay, so, so, like, if I if I, a customer's walking in, and I'm going to try and be as unbiased as I can with my delivery here... How my, my, my customer service voice is always, welcome in, thanks for coming. Uh, what can I get you? Uh, and then they'll say like, oh, uh, can I get like a double smoked bacon and like a caramel frappuccino with, with two avocado shots? I go, okay, a double smoked bacon and a caramel frappuccino. Anything else for you? And they go like, oh, no. I'm like, okay, that's going to be, you know, that's going to be 525. Are you paying with cash card or app today? Let's go. Card? All right, go ahead. Let's tap go. there when you're ready. You do sound like an anchor I mean, man. They'll tap it a little. Okay. It, it's a little bit there. I I don't I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just being friendly. Yeah. I will say when when you were listing off the various like flavors and whatnot, you absolutely could have changed those to nearby towns, and it would have just <laughs> yeah. been you talking about the weather, a hundred percent. But like. Here's the thing, though. It's like every, but but, but again, now that's back your, to like, Nubby for the weather. Yeah, <laughs> but like that's that's the big thing, though, is that that is again a presentation voice. Everyone has those. It's the same thing as like when you talk to someone on the phone. Like for example, yeah. when I talk to my mom, I actually pitch my voice up because my va my normal voice, if I'm like just ca talking more casually, is so deep and bassy she can't hear Nothing. me. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'll take. I'll take skunk tank for breeding, but all normal. <laughs> Hell yeah, skunk tank. You're going to get laid. I was told when I was working at GameStop, um, I had the um, the job of calling people on the phone to tell them that their pre-order was available for pickup mm -hmm. um, and just like leaving a message. And uh, a lady that was in the store while I was doing that, because I just had to stand behind the counter and do it, was like, um, you sound like one of those automated phone systems. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, really? Because I would call and be like, you know, hi, this is uh, the such and such uh, GameStop. And just calling to let you know that your pre-order of whatever is available for pickup now. So please come by to the store and pick it up at your earliest convenience. Thank you. And she was like, you sound like a machine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you do like the same kind of thing enough times, it yeah, over and over, there's like a yeah. rhythm to it, you know. Uh, like like the way when I'm helping customers, I'm like, all right, are you are you paying with cash card or app today? Uh, paying with card, go and tap there when you're ready. Would you like a receipt today? No, all right, you're all set. Let me know if you need anything else. And like that's the rhythm I go through with everybody. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, by the time sense. I got to, like, the third or fourth person that I had to call, it was, like, automatic. So yeah. I could kind of see it just, like, you know. Mm, yeah. Hi, welcome to GameStop. Do you have your Power of Rewards card with you today? Great. Oh, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, boy. I, 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 I used to be, like, really, like, a GameStop <laughs> go-to guy all the time because, like, that was my shtick. I was gamer guy. Mm -hmm. And I remember... Um, one time the the guy there was like okay um hey do you have a, a car with this one and i was like yeah uh i should have some points on there i don't know how much though and he froze and looked and he's like you have two hundred thousand points I'm like is that good <laughs> he's like go look at the thing and like apparently for a hundred thousand you can go meet a race car driver back in the day 
<laughs> and I was like, that's useless to me. I will have Ooh. so many of your games for slightly cheaper. <laughs> no, we got a fourth already. What is the fucking sliding scale on GameStop Sorry, Rewards? Where your options were meet a race car driver or get a discount and there's so, no <laughs> in between so so like there, there were other things it's like you could get a gamer chair and like whatnot but um and like some of the other ones were like really bizarre like balancing and whatnot where it's like oh for fifty thousand, you can knock ten dollars off of uh, a console I'm like that's useless but then they have another one where it's like for ten thousand, when you buy a game that's thirty dollars or less you get one of equal or lesser value free and i'm like that's great. Why would I not pick that one? That's objectively cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's right. And then you can like fifteen thousand would be like you could re up your Game Informer subscription. And I'm like, oh cool, the thing I throw away. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get a free copy of Game Informer. I have to tell you that that's a benefit. <laughs> I, I am legally obligated to inform <laughs> you. This is, in our opinion, a good thing. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to go max knuckle so I can cool. save my rising voltages. Hell yeah. Yeah, so I was just working my shift and com completely unprompted. You know, one of my coworkers, she's like a she's like a small gal. Uh, her name's Lizzie. She comes up to me. She's like, Tony, uh, I hope this is rude. You like really sound like a news anchor. <laughs> and I, was, I was like, do I? What do I? And I can like go to my boss and I'm like, hey, Raquel, do I sound like a news anchor? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. yeah. What, what do you yeah. mean? I go to like some of our <laughs> regular customers and I'm like, yeah, no, you definitely sound like a news anchor. And like one of our regulars, Jen, she comes in like literally. This is a woman who comes in to get espresso four times a day regularly. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> oh wow. She's yeah, oh yeah. Is she okay? Oh, that hurts. I don't know. She said she went to the hospital recently for some stomach things and I was just like maybe you should stop drinking so much just press up. <laughs> that would be a good idea. You hate to see but... Golurk Oko. Damn. But, like, yeah, um, she like comes up to you, she's like, oh, uh, I think I can, uh, yeah, let me, like, you know, um, I think you're like a little bit like a news anchor. Is that what you want to do? Like she came to, she was like, is that like what you want to do? And I was like, no. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> like... Yeah, Slim, you got O-code. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> By the way, guys, apropos of nothing, uh, we have a new emote. Check Yay. this out. Ooh, which one's this? Kissy. Kissy. Ooh. I'm gonna use my funny channel points to unlock Kissy for a little while. I guess I'll do that, right? Hold on. Uh, oh, maybe I can't do that. Wait, what the hell is Ara Ara? I'll I say Ara Ara if they unlock that one. She was in the oh. oh, I got it for free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> Because <laughs> well, you just said it. Well, I didn't say it the way that you would that I would say it if I got the thing. Can, can you give it to me as if y you were uh, leaving me a, a message that my pre-order was in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would just be like, "Hi, uh, your pre-order is available." Ara, ara. All right, thanks. Oh, fuck. oh, oh! I shouldn't. Yo, steamy. It. I, That's steamy. <laughs> uh, I don't steamy. worry, Chad. I'm going to save up. I'm at 8K right now. I'm saving. <laughs> I, I, I picked the unlock random emote on accident. Wait, what did you get? This is all I have. Nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's a nice. good one. <laughs> uh, let's see. We've got Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum might be good. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, we've got some funny ones. We've got uh, that, and we've also got this now. Oh, yeah, oh. let's know. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's really yeah. funny. It's so intense. Like I said before, it really reminds me of uh, Clay Fighters 63 and a third, uh, which is an old ass game. So I doubt anyone in this chat is even a, like was alive to know what that game was. But yeah, you know. How many bones are in a human body? You can Google that. 
I'll, I'll look. I'm curious, actually. We, How I know many... the number goes down as you get older. <laughs> uh, 206. Horrifying. Thank you. There you go, chat. Can you get you a know. channel points reward where you announce to that user that their pre-order of random game has come in? That's so funny. <laughs> I would want to figure out a way to change my, um, my, like, input so that it sounds like I'm on the phone. Oh, there's definitely a way to do that. Yeah, on the GoXLR, there's got to be. My brain was still in, like, the bones topic, so I thought that was going to go, like, can we get a channel points reward where you announce that the user is losing bone mass? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Vixen, can you tell me any bones I have? 203. W wait, what? What? <laughs> Aren't I supposed to have 206? You should normally. Anyways, your pre-order bonus is in. <laughs> when you're, like, a baby, you have, like, 300 and something. <laughs> And then it like fuses. Yeah, like, wait. To impress. Can I? Is this like a thing I can do? Because I have like, I have some effects. Is there an echo now? Because I just switched my input. Uh, I can't hear an echo. Oh, maybe. It's... Yeah, we won't be able to hear it, but it might be in the uh, the stream itself. The stream oh, can yeah, hear it. Echo. They're saying whoa. Yeah, sorry. I'll 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 screw with that later. Um, there's a way for me to there's a way for me to use this Go XLR properly, and so I can sound like I'm on the phone. Hopefully. Mm. Hey, Chad, do we sound all okay now? Because I know apparently I was echoing as well. I just I think I fixed it. You probably did, but like audio gets weird sometimes. I know. Um, I've had situations where suddenly my interface just goes. Your computer has no audio, and I'm like, "What do you mean?" They're like, "I don't know." <laughs> Okay, I'll screw with that later, and, and instead of trying to do it live on stream. But I, I would love if just like someone redeems like my pre-order, and I'm just like, uh, yes, your pre-order of Hello Kitty Island Adventure is available for for pickup. But like, I sound like I'm on the phone. Oh right, 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 right. <laughs> it's like the two thousand dollar gaming PC. And it's like, um, where's my audio input? Um, yeah, I forgot. Um. <laughs> Eto <laughs> okay, I'll sit up straight. It was only putting the voice effects on the Discord. That's annoying. Why did? It, why would it do that? Okay, I'll screw with it later. Damn, the uh, retro is like stirring the pot. Yeah, he's 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 killing us. <laughs> I do like Tyrantrum. He's pretty rad. He is rad. I used him on my uh, XY team. Yeah, me too. I loved him. Yeah, he was good. Get the big, cool Tyrannosaurus Rex. Young me would have lost their freaking mind. Yo, does that T-Rex have a beard? It sure does. <laughs> oh my god, is oh that another god, one? god, he's killing us. Holy cannoli. This blows, gamers. Did he just kill us? Oh my god. Yeah, that's it. That's it for us. Wow. Fuck. Well, at the very least, that means that we can do another run. Because I, I have enough time for one more. Woo! Woo! Wahoo! He one-shot Sharpedo. Yeah, well, that, that'll do it. I, I shared it in, in JRPG earlier, but apparently DC's doing, like, another anime crossover thing, like Batman Ninja, but this time it's, it, it, well, it's another isekai. Batman Ninja was still an isekai, but now it's it's the Joker and Harley Quinn go to fantasy world. Yeah, I did um, see that. I don't know who this is for. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, the Suicide Squad Isekai is. Uh, with the Re Zero Rider? Oh, that's intriguing. Hmm. <laughs> I thought Re Zero was fine. I, I, I wasn't haven't a caught up. fan, off. personally. That's fair. But... I blame Will. What did I, what did I do? 
Fine, I'll redeem my points and get a race car to help you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last run, gamers. Let's go. Um, but... I think Chansey's gonna, or Chansey's gonna, gonna carry on this one. Honestly, I might go Chansey. Let's yeah, there we chancy. go. Barracuda. Much better. Okay, well, I hope you didn't take my advice. I don't know anything about Pokemon. I'm going to be clear. <laughs> well, So we're going for Ho-Oh, right? So we want electric, water, and rock moves. Um, so the, the Crocodile has a rock move, but it's Sandstorm, which is not at all helpful. Um, no. The Chansey is a healer, so that's that could be useful. This is a pretty good team, actually, to start with. This is not bad. Yeah, look at this crew. We're going to do great. Let's go right, I think. Yeah. You want to get a Sea King? Fuck yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this freaking fish. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Though, should I trade out for Sea King or should I just stick with Chansey? What do you guys think? Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, it could be worth just seeing how this all pans out. And if the heels really come in handy. Look at this round friend. Yeah, because I've got, I've got Helping Hand and I've got um, Heal Pulse. So I'm going to throw up screens. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yo, this is going to take a bit. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up a chair. Who wants drinks? <laughs> That's the one problem of going after Pokemon that the, are the exact right type that you need when you've already got a good team. Is that we're all the same type. Yeah. I, okay, I need help. Uh, oh. At work today, my boss and I heard a song over the speakers that we recognize but cannot remember the name to. Okay. Uh, and everybody we've asked also recognizes the song but cannot remember the name or the band. <laughs> okay, what's uh, what's this song uh, here? So the tune, the tune that you will recognize, the chorus goes... do 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 goes like that and it repeats. Does yeah. That sound oh. familiar? Just sitting in the dun, 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 dun. Tom's diner? Is that what it is? That's what chat says. Up. Okay. Trusting you. If it it's wrong, me, nothing will happen. It was like driving me <clears throat> insane all day. <laughs> Tom's diner is Suzanne Vega, they say. Yep, that's it. Thank you. Thank wow, you. I appreciate well it. Done, <laughs> well done. Well done. Good job. Let's go. <laughs> A hero. I always forget that Sea King has like little doofy vampire fangs. Yeah. He's like a little chump. Chomp. I love how he spazzes out. <laughs> He's like, I'm so freaking big. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that the camera zips away and then comes back. <clears throat> Just like, wasn't that a cool time? Oh, he's still going. Okay. <laughs> Check this out. He, he won't do it a third time. Oh, my God. He's doing it again. <laughs> Yo. It's over. So I'm not going to take Sea King, but I am going to catch it. Just so you guys don't get confused oh. about what I'm doing. <laughs> this fish is exploding in the background and Vixen's like, I'm only going to capture him, but I will not use him. He is a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> like Patrick like, oh! <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, that's the right move. Yeah. Imprison him. His failure. <laughs> he deserves this. 
enjoy your home. It will be smaller soon. It's a luxury ball. It's the the best outcome you could possibly get. I like to think there's like one chair in there and he's like, oh, that's nice at least. <laughs> but like every time you throw the ball, the chair isn't like stapled down. So it's like, whoa, <laughs> it's like getting thrown about. There's like one chair and he's like, I'm a fish. What am I supposed to do with this? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, is that mahogany? Oh my gosh. Here we go this way. Um, I will say you may not want to hold on to that Celio. It's Girder. Um, not that Girder is going to be very helpful, but there's water if we keep going this way. Yeah, if you trade Celio out for the next water type, I think we'll have a pretty good team. We're gonna do great. Shiny Hunter, first time chatter. Welcome to stream. Uh, we're shiny oh, hunting oh. ho -Oh. Hey, Why is this Pokemon so stacked? How do you mean? Oh yeah, he's like, yeah. He's beefy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Girder, Girder looks odd. I'm a fucking walrus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking here. <laughs> Do I have shiny Conkleder? I feel like yes. I'm going to double check. Yeah, I do. Conkleder sounds inappropriate. <laughs> Heal pulse. Yeah, I don't want Rotom to die. Rotom stays. Apparently it's Conkelder, <laughs> yeah. I love how, like, intense that animation was, and it was like, like just like a little yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Have you not seen most RPGs? <laughs> like, I uh, I yeah. finished um, Doodly Doot, Final Fantasy 16 last night. Obviously, no spoilers and stories and all that jazz. And there are so many moments where it's just like, and then have, like, it's so much explosions. It's like, 10,000 damage. I'm like, that's nothing anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that's nothing. <laughs> the last time I had an experience like that, I, uh, it was, I think it was like Dragon Quest Nine during like late game dungeon raids. And it's like, oh, sure. You know, I was like, I summon a meteor and I explode the sun and I fire this ray of pure cosmic energy at you and everyone dies. Like this, you know, the universe ends and it's done. It's over. And then like it's like you know, nineteen damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Final like... Fantasy fourteen has one like that where um, you get teleported into space on a platform. Uh -huh. And then the enemy, like, teleports back to the planet, and you see, like, nine glyphs appear on Earth, and half of it starts to charge up energy and shoot a beam at you and your crew, which pushes you into a galaxy that then explodes, <laughs> and it fades to white, and then you come back in, you land down, you're like, that took 10% of your health. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> the galaxy is gone! And they're just like... Yeah, man, that was the raid mechanic, and you did really well. So, like, nothing really happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> you good? Let me imagine you're like living in the world where this shit happens all the time. It's like fucking. It's like two p.m. at night, and then like, this Oko. horrible godly light comes up. Like, like it's you know, like yeah. the sun is rising. And you're like, oh fuck! Oh, the wizards are fighting again. <laughs> It's stupid <laughs> wizards. God oh, damn so it. I can't close. get any sleep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bonk him. He needs to be bonked now. They got this. Can you bonk him if you're tiny? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just like a bonk and not a bonk, you know? Right, right, right. Yeah, no, I, just, I just think it'd be like, like an epic and, and cool move of you to finish him while you're tiny. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, you're tiny thing. for most of the match. You only get, Let's like, go. a couple rounds of Dynamax. 
Yeah! <laughs> I love the explosion. It's so funny. He's just like, I think I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like on fire. <laughs> yeah, Crystal, you got the healing in before I could even heal. <laughs> well, that's good. We're going hello, in with hello. the full stuffs. <laughs> It's yam. 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 What the hell is going on, Captain? Yam <laughs> yeah. Pokemon. That's what awesome. The... <laughs> what the hell is happening, Chief? That's what it was, Chief. Yeah. What the hell is happening? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell did you do to the sandwich? It's delicious. <laughs> God. Ooh, what are you gonna go for now? Water. That one. It's not up for discussion. Good, yep. good, good talk. We gotta go for that water. We gotta get that dreadnought, and then um, we're gonna want to switch out Celio for dreadnought. Mm. Grab that dreadnought. <laughs> dreadnought, the bite Pokemon, a water and whack type, and uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. He's just a turtle. It's my favorite oh, fucking too. scene from the an from the new anime. <laughs> yeah, it's very silly. Fucking oh, Rotom deck. Oh, Star Runner plays Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it is that energy, yeah. Holy smoke, Sadwedna. <laughs> Light screen. Unfortunately, this is our last run, Yam. Yeah, sorry, crew. That's okay. I'm just here to chill. Hell yeah. Just get off work? Yeah, a little while ago. I, I was watching shoot. the stream, but then you guys started talking about the, the Eden super laser. <laughs> yeah. So I had to come in and say my quip. Oh, yeah, please do. <laughs> no, that was his. Oh, Chief, yeah. what the hell is happening? No! <laughs> oh my god, Barascuta. They hate you. I'll try and hit you with a heal pulse. We'll see what happens. Barracuda under a rock. Yeah, thanks for the barrier. <laughs> Ooh. Eat you. Ew. The sand is in my eyes, but at least we have a weed chancy. <laughs> Dwedna. <laughs> Dwedna. Dwedna. A wallow and walk type. He is a bully Pokemon. He sees other fish and goes, no, die now, please. <laughs> Your wings don't want to exist, Rotom. <laughs> yeah, Rotom's having a trouble. Max Lightning! Bam! Oh! <laughs> Just a genuine man scream. <laughs> <laughs> like Firo. <laughs> God, that Firo sound effect is yeah, so funny. Video. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like, what was the one from the, um, I think it was the Galarian anime where, uh, the Sun and Moon where they had like the god he's like a bee or something and he like shows up and terrorizes ash and co and he's just screaming like a human man. <laughs> <laughs> a i'm bee? not familiar with this one yeah it's i i mean a bee it's more like a mosquito i guess but like it's i don't know it's this big mis buff mosquito pokemon oh buzzwool uh, guzzlord uh people are saying no guzzlord oh, no, no, is no, not I, a bee no the buff mosquito is is um, buzzwool Hold on, now I'm curious. Guzzlord is also hilarious because he also screams like a man. Okay. I was Buzz thinking Swole. of Buzzwall, I think. But maybe maybe Guzzlord is the video, and I just thought, and I, like, and I got scrambled in my brain. I don't know much about Pokemon, if you can't tell. No, my Chansey. <laughs> my Chansey and his 420 Blaze It HP. Yeah, it's definitely Guzzlord. 
uh, is like the audio that I was thinking of, but I think my brain was like, what's the most ridiculous looking Pokemon you've ever seen? Oh yeah, that wrestler mosquito. <laughs> Technically, he's not a Pokemon. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, he's an Ultra Beast. Exactly. <laughs> Which, uh, they are creatures from another dimension. They are technically they're, not Pokemon. They're Pokemon. No, you. they're not. They're no, Ultra Beasts. No, they're Pokemon. They're but Ultra are... Beasts. But then why do Pokeballs work on them? Uh, well, they actually have a very, very slim chance to work on them. You're supposed to use Beast Balls, which are specifically for Ultra them. Beasts. But Pokeballs don't work on humans. But like, wait, hold on. There's beast balls. Like, I never heard of this in my life. Yeah, there's so beast you know balls. How, like, a, so you know how like a Look, dive see? ball will give you a, an up oh. chance if like you're uh, you're like diving or whatever. It's like that. They're still huh. pokeballs. But they're specifically for ultra beasts, which are different creatures. But you can catch Pokemon, regular Pokemon, and ultra balls. That's I mean, true. That's true. You know, Yam, you're right. Uh, I'll see. You. And then the plan is to have Celio switch with uh, Dredna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just want to make sure those strats are out there. They know. They got it. Ultra beasts are Pokemon, but they're Pokemon of a different dimension, which means they're technically not Pokemon. They what? are Pokemon-like creatures from another dimension. They are the is Pokemon the equivalent. Is Behem a Pokemon? Just because it's from space doesn't make it not a Pokemon. Oh, well, what the fuck? The Ultra Beasts are from space? They're from a different dimension. So? That's not space. Space is not a different dimension. There's it's so, well, how it's is the final not, frontier. How is something not from Earth a Pokemon? Which is from Earth? Because Pokemon are from our dimension. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter, Lenti. And then <laughs> Ultra Beasts are the Pokemon equivalent of another dimension. So they're Pokemon. They are like Pokemon. They're Pokemon. I've just been listening to Guzzlord screaming this whole time. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, no, it's, it's just a man screaming. <laughs> Vixen, they're Pokemon. No, they're not. They make it pretty explicit that they are... Pokemon. The they Pokemon equivalent Pokemon. of another dimension. Still Pokemon. I'm looking this up. Our Ultra Beast Pokemon. Let's see here. Ultra Beasts are a group of extra-dimensional Pokemon originating from Ultra Space. <laughs> but then why wouldn't they just be called Pokemon? Because they needed a gimmick. The... Because they needed a gimmick. <laughs> Zero on the Accuser says, Every time you call Ultra Beasts Pokemon, another guzzler lord earns his screen. <laughs> Hilarious. It would be cool, a game where we could go to Ultra Space and, like, Ultra Beasts were normal. That'd be fun. Man, they hate your Barrascuta. Um, I guess I'll just go helping hand on Dreadnought. Fixing those are fan games. No, I want an official game. <coughs> Takes place in Ultra Space. That'd be so cool. And you start with a little poipole. Oh my god. Oh no. Are we about to get kicked out? Little guy. Oh. What is happening? Oh, we lost. We were oh, so no. close. Well, shit. Hey, Sea King. I got a Sea King. <laughs> the way that there was like a vignette and it just faded to black. Was Crystal, you got a shiny? Terrifying. What'd you get? <laughs> Ooh. Like, I think in that continuity, Ho-Oh just killed you. <laughs> 
What what shiny did you get? Yeah, what shiny did you get? You got it. You got your girder is shiny. Congratulations. A shiny girder. Yeah, nothing for me this stream, but I tell you what. Oh, this is Sheila. This is my this is my baby. Oh. You guys want to see her before before I sign off? Look at her, okay? She's beautiful. Oh, she's bashful. Oh, she's, my God. I caught her in the Hohen region. It doesn't say the date anymore because I've transferred her too much, I think. But she's from, like, when Ruby was new. Oh, wow. She she has... Uh, traveled. She has traveled. This is my girl. She's a cutie. Thank you. Very good color scheme. All right, gamers. Well, uh, next time I do this, I will make sure to change the stream title before we start <laughs> um, so that uh, we don't run into a situation where nobody joins us because nobody knows what the hell I'm doing. Oh, no. Remember, chat, if a guzzlord is making that sound, it means it's under extreme stress. You should help. Feed it. <laughs> All right, wow, who that, should we raid, gamers? Uh, I think Piff's doing. Oh, Piff is live, yeah. Yeah. Raid two. Yeah. All right, gamers, we're going to raid Piff. Go say hi to him. And uh, thanks for joining me for another early day stream. Oh. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Toodles. Bye. -bye.